strong. Ginobili trying to go for it. Comes up with the ball. Under a minute remaining. Green nearly lost it. Back to Ginobili. Inside Duncan. Across the lane. Duncan misses the tip. No good. And Bosch the rebound. He clinging to a two-point lead. And a point blank missed by Duncan and then the follow. Timeout, Miami. The Spurs, a golden opportunity. A bounce here, a bounce there. That was a story in game six. Also here in game seven. And you see Tim Duncan, the frustration, knew the opportunity was right there. The stoic Tim Duncan showing unbelievable emotion here as we wind down game seven. 14 to shoot for Miami. And they're not going two for one, it doesn't look like. James pulls up, puts it in, four point lead. 35 for LeBron James. Timeout San Antonio. Chalmers screening for James. The 17 footer. Leonard tries to close the gap late. Excellent balance by James and knocks it in to give him a four-point lead. Ginobili inside to Duncan. Back to Ginobili. Ginobili out of control, throws it away, and Duncan fouls James. <laughs> They're just not used to the quiet. Five-point game with 23.5. Remember, game six was a five-point game with just over 21 seconds remaining. A key is San Antonio has just one timeout left. And they're not going to take it, I wouldn't think, right here. I think they would play off the make or the miss. James, seven for seven from the free throw line. Clutch foul shots for the Heat. Six point game. Ginobili, a long three. Way off the mark. Rebound, Wade. Foul by Green. And Wade at the line. His first free throws of the night. That makes it a three possession game. And this for Miami, the largest lead of the night. Battier tips it out to Chalmers. Wade throws it up to James. The Spurs will not foul. Final seconds. What a finish. It's back-to-back -back titles for the Heat. The 2013 NBA Championship resides once again in Miami.